Hello YouTube, this is Louisiana Lifestyle Luke Martin. I'm coming to you with a follow-up review on the Gladiator X-Comp MTs. I did a review when I first got them, my thoughts on them, and I'm doing a review on basically the end of end of their life, about 50,000 miles. Um, I was going to run them a little bit longer, you can see on the warning, it's on the warning bar, but it's still got a decent amount of tread on them. They got 50,000 miles on them, but they are coming to the end of their life span and they had a little accident happen and I wasn't going to buy one tire. I needed to buy, just go ahead and replace them all. Um, so I was, um, I was off road, I was pulling a dump trailer and, uh, I wedged, I was backing up on my wheel turn and I run into a log pretty hard. And uh, at first I didn't think there was uh, any issue. And then the next day I was unhooked and running down the interstate and all of a sudden my truck started shaking horribly. Um, so the, when I got out and checked it, I seen that the, uh, I had a bulge, a bulge in it that's from the uh, inner belt broke from where I jammed up against that log and it cracked a few of them um, um, metal belts that are inside your tire and that caused a chain reaction as I went up in speed and it broke them. So, um, so I decided to go with buy, needed to buy a whole new set because they're were, they were about, about done with their lifespan and uh, I got a different set a different type of tire because I like to go through uh, get a different tire each time because I, I know a lot of people they do reviews and stuff on the tires but uh, do they really run them the whole 50 60,000 miles I mean you say if you want about them for a little while but if you don't know know what they do from the beginning to the end then are you really you know do you really give a full review on them so I'm going to go over some pros and cons, uh, things I liked about them and I don't like about them. Um, so the first first thing is, on the, I'm going to go over the pros. They are a very attractive tire. They're probably one of the best looking tires that you're going to get for, the, that's an MT that's on the highway today. They're um, I love the way they look and a lot of guys who run these tires run like a 20, 24, 26, you know, like a really big, <clears throat> big rim, a low profile. And they look great on those too. And they look, these are for 18s. Uh, got a lot more side lug. They're 12 ply, they're very thick, um, which I, I, I tried to go with 12 ply this time because I pull heavy, heavy, a lot of heavy loads. And, because I didn't want any issues. I had Iron Man's before, but I had them 10 ply, and I kept getting nails and stuff, puncture, puncture, a lot of punctures, and they're hard to plug. So I decided to go with 12 and not have any issues, and I did not. They had no blowouts, didn't have no punctures. They're very puncture resistant, very tough. Uh, they've been quite well in what, what I needed them to do. They take a lot of abuse, a lot of uh, wear and tear. So when the belt broke, I wasn't disappointed. They were kind of towards the end of their lifespan, and and uh, I was I, I put put it in a position that the tire shouldn't be in, and uh, so they did well for me. I really, and they would probably be perfect for someone who wasn't on the highway a lot like the interstate and all that stuff running them all the time um you know because they do very well in the mud as soon as you turn them over so once you turn them over and get into the side grip here they do very well because this is where you get all your grip from it's the side it's the side grip. you don't get much here the spacing between here are pretty small uh that's one of the reasons they were holding they hold rocks so bad but once you wear them down they don't hold rocks you know, as bad but um 
Yeah, they are attractive. They are very puncture resistant. They do well in the mud. Um, they hold a lot of weight. They can pull heavy with them. If you run a, now the bigger the rim you get, the lower the profile, the less weight you can actually haul. I mean, you can get a, whatever fly you want, but if you don't have that sidewall for your loads, you're not gonna be able to pull as much. I mean, you gotta get it like a really thick tire. You know, like a, so, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed them. I think they're a great tire. Now, the things I don't like about them, which are a kind of a big deal to a lot of people, um, you know, they, they, they hold rocks when you first get them until you wear them down a little bit, then they stop holding. And you know, I didn't have any issues after that. Um, they are almost impossible to keep balanced. You rotate them, and you kind of take best you can care of them, and uh, you're still gonna get some vibration. You're still gonna get, um, they're just not as smooth. They're not a very smooth tire. It's probably because of the, how big these side legs are and stuff, it's, it's hard, to, hard to get them balanced. It's hard to keep them in vibration. Off, off of them. Um, I wouldn't say that belt issue would be a, a negative thing because they were they were they were about done and I was uh, so I don't think that was an issue. Uh, I was trying to think of some of the comments I got on the earlier reviews when I first got them. The, any of the follow-ups? Uh, they are kind of heavy. Um, they don't help with fuel mileage at all. Um, it, it wasn't too bad down, but I've been running a bigger uh, tire for a while because these are 35, 12, 50 R18s. Um, but yeah, this mainly the, the noise isn't too bad, but it's a little louder than some. The rocks issue, which goes away, and, but the main thing was the the smoothness they're not they're not smooth they're not a smooth tire they don't run smooth it's on the highway i don't care how well you got them balanced or or how many times you rotate them you get more life out of them rotating them more but that's not it but uh overall yeah i like them and if i was on um doing a little bit more off the road on dirt roads or clearing land and stuff, which I do a lot of, I would have, they're, they, they perform well in that area. The interstate, I do run a lot of miles in the pool, so they're not the greatest um, as far as smoothness and that. They actually run a lot smoother when you've got a, a load on, you know, because they, they, the contact bench is better and they, they just run smoother. And it's kind of off my front end a little bit, you know, if I got my back end weighted down. So, uh, if you got any questions or comments, go ahead and uh, give me a holler. I'm a small channel. Um, so, please like and subscribe if you like these reviews because this is a uh, family friendly channel. We're, we're good Christian people and we uh, keep it clean. We just like the kind of the outdoor lifestyle with, with a, you know, kind of country, but humble, you know, but, um, that's my overall thoughts on these, just give me a, a comment, or a like, or, and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, God bless you.